Is this the Uber drive from hell? Let's take a look at the video and then discuss. You are at the hospital. Administration is right here. I'm going Get to the there. emergency room, sir. Get in there. Where? Get out of my car now. Where is my Get destination? Get out of my car now. Sir, I'm asking you. Get out you of my car now. I have the right to to tell you when to get out of my car, I it's am, right now. I don't know where I am. I'm asking you where is my destination, if you will kindly point I at where I am I pulled into your destination. It said here I was at your destination. It's over. Get out of my car now. It said 1760. Get out of my car now. Sir, it said- Get out of my car now! Why are you yelling at me? Because you won't fucking get out of my car. But you're not to yell at me. You are not to yell at me. One. Do it. Do it. Do it. Get out of my car. Where is my destination? Get out of my car. Sorry, my question was, did 911 not work? Well, ambulances are very expensive. Like, they really are. And it's a shady, it's kind of a shady industry, but we won't get into that. No, That's I mean, not like, what the point is. No, I mean, like, when he was dialing 911, he was like, 9-1, and she's like, do it, do it. She's like, daring him to dial 911. Yeah. And then he's like, he like just puts the phone back. He's like, never mind. Yeah, well, I mean, it's a weird situation. So there's not a lot of details out there. Okay. But what we do know is that this person um, called an Uber to go to the emergency room. Uh, we do know that they were already in the hospital's vicinity. Like they were around the hospital. And my understanding is that he refused to pull up to the emergency room. And um, looking at the comments and all the other information out there, uh, we can kind of get a better uh, understanding and see that... Uh, she was kind of being rude. He said that she was being she was late, didn't show any indication that she was in a hurry at all, yet said that she was in a hurry, and he was just trying to get her out of his car. And Uber policy is that um, the driver has 100% all the right to terminate a ride at any point because this is a private vehicle. This is a private, this is an independent citizen who's not a licensed driver. This is a ride sharing app. So well, he is a licensed driver. Well, like he's licensed. he has a driver's license. I meant like without like a special permit to right, right. drive. It's not with a taxi. A, yeah, exactly. So they have every right to deny service at any point uh, throughout the ride. And Uber is very easy to just like call another ride if you're away from your destination. So I don't know. I want to hear what you think. Obviously, I believe that she should have just gotten out of the car. <laughs> like that. Honestly, I I agree with you because I think that this guy. There's also a little bit of a generational gap here that I think we see in this video. This is a guy that was, we are raised on phone apps. We're yeah. very accustomed to them. This is a guy that wasn't. You know, he's yeah. a little bit older. He likes and to smoke weed. He's Seth Rogen. Like, let's just put that out there. He, ha he sounds like Seth he, Rogen. He sounds I, like, I thought, yeah, <laughs> get out of my car. <laughs> But I mean that, like, I, I think that perhaps he, I, I'm totally speculating here, but just go with me on the story that I have painted in my brain, which that is Seth that- Seth Rogen is driving. No. That <laughs> Seth Uber. Rogen is a time traveler. No. And so, so he wanted to get some extra income, so he heard about Uber. You know, Uber <laughs> advertises everywhere that you can become a driver. He doesn't really super understand phone apps, but he picks up this woman. She's being super rude to him. He doesn't like it. And then he just kind of loses- his mind. Well, it if escalated. I were, it escalated. And yeah. if I were the woman, I would have just, wit, you know, experienced this escalation because it kind of seems like it escalated rather quickly. He went from get out of my car to get out, you know, like very quickly. I'm so sorry, um, that was audience, like you that we do have ear. here. I know. Um, in any case, uh, I feel like she should have been the one to recognize that this guy has met his breaking point. He's, this isn't really his uh, wheelhouse, it doesn't seem. Um, not great with interacting with customers. She should have just gotten out of they're the both, car. They're both giving each other one star. And yeah. end, it's safe to say that... Yeah, they will not be matched together again on yeah. this ride. So, I, I mean, okay, so let's talk about personal experiences here with for Uber, a second. With this yes. man or with well, Ubers? With, the, with this man, specifically with Seth Rogen, okay. um, who was promoting his latest movie about sausages. And it did not go well. Uh, uh, so, I've had some Uber drives from hell. Uh -huh. Like I have been in Uber pools. Definitely if you live in New York City, never get in an Uber pool because it like you will not get to your destination in under an hour because the traffic is ridiculous. Anyway, so um I've been in Ubers where the driver had clearly like got this car from someone else. Oh god. Because he one didn't understand how to drive the vehicle 
and two didn't even know like basic stuff like you know pop, popping the trunk mm -hmm. like which is pretty I think it's the easiest thing you can do in a vehicle like you don't need a license to figure out like how yeah. can I open the trunk of this vehicle mm -hmm. um, so yeah I've had I've had some seriously like traumatic experiences where I almost died we almost like hit an ambulance like we merged in front of an ambulance yeah, I've had and some bus. pretty uncomfortable Uber or Lyft. Ex I take Lyft, Lyft experiences in my day, but they have not actually been from safety. Yours sounds like safety concerns. Mine oh, have yeah. been deeply uncomfortable concerns. The worst was when oh, I, I get yeah. into a car with this woman and she was traveling. Uh, she was doing work in LA as a Lyft driver and she'd come from a different part of the state, like a very remote part of California. And I get in the car and we're driving and I, we actually have a bit of a ways. I'm going downtown and she turns to me. We, we drive past a graffiti wall that has hashtag Black Lives Matter on it. We drive past that. And uh, she turns uh -oh. to me. She's white, by the way. She turns to me and she goes, ugh, Black Lives Matter. What does that even mean? And she looks at me to answer that question. And I remember well, being like, um, I was like, well, so. Well, to be fair, you are very pale. So right. if someone she was going was like, to be We're outwardly on the same team yeah. here, right? If like, someone, you know what I mean, right? If someone was going to be outwardly racist around someone and feel comfortable about doing it, I think it would be around yeah. you. And so I, I answered, you know, what Black Lives Matter, what the movement is about in a very, like, in 140 characters or less. And, um, and she just didn't get it. She just absolutely didn't understand it. And she's like, yeah, but like, how do we know this is real? I'm like, um, I don't know. Anyway, I think we actually passed my stop, so you can just let me out wherever. And I got out early. Yeah. The second uncomfortable one was at like three in the morning. I got into an Uber uh, with some with an older woman or Lyft with an older woman, and she was like, "What do you do?" And I was like, "I'm a stand-up comic." And she's like, "Oh my gosh, me too." And I was like, "Uh oh." It's <laughs> like, "Yay, <laughs> yeah!" And um, somehow along the line, she found out that I'm a lesbian, or maybe she—I don't even remember. She probably was just like, "Gay, right?" And um, probably, yeah. And it's not—it's not a stretch of the imagination. Yeah, and she was like. <laughs> That's so crazy that you're a lesbian. I just wrote this amazing joke about lesbians. And I was like, oh boy. Do tell. And she was like, why are all lesbians pescatarians? And I was like, no. It's like, shut it down now. Like, That's good. absolutely not. That's pretty good. Um, um, but yeah, okay, let's good. leave this on a good note, though. Okay. I, I have also had some amazing experiences because, like, I, I normally don't like to communicate with random strangers, but <laughs> sometimes, like, for example, this one time I. I met a fan of the Young Turks. No way. Yeah. So I was leaving VidCon in Anaheim and this guy picked me up. And at first he was like, he was really nervous. And I don't know why. And I sat next to him because I'm a man of the people like that. Like, That's super weird. And yeah, no, I, I, I like to sit in the front seat. So he was really tense. And he's like, so, uh, so are you just attending to see the internet stars here? Like he was just being like, he was testing it out. And then I was like, well, uh, kind of, I guess, like, I'm a part of the convention. Like, he's like, oh, what do you do? I was like, oh, I'm a political commentator. He's like, oh, my God, I didn't want to say it. It's Hassan from the Young Turks, right? <laughs> and he freaked out. And I was like, oh, yeah, definitely, like, awesome. And You said definitely. It's yes, definitely, definitely me. <laughs> no, and then, I mean, he was a, he was a military vet. Like, he's an ex-Marine. He's really into democratic socialism. Like, we had a deep conversation about... Uh, how the military force is actually kind of socialist, and it's ironic that there are so many Republicans in one of the most socialist establishments, mm -hmm. which is the military. Um, and uh, it was cool, and I ended up giving him a Young Turks T-shirt. Wow! Yeah, look so, at you, Gandhi. So there's, there's all like I'm just saying. So it's it's hit or miss. Sometimes you get a person who's like lesbians eat fish. <laughs> Am I right? And then other times you get like a cool person. And you get to have like an enjoyable ride yeah. with them where you don't have to put your headphones in to be like, please don't I know. talk to me. Yes, also that joke was way funnier when you said it than when my elderly lady Lyft driver <laughs> said it. All right. But uh, tell us what you guys think. Have you had an Uber ride from hell? Was this woman guilty or should she have just gotten out of the car? Or was it the driver's fault? Leave your thoughts in the comment section below and we'll see you next time on Pop Trigger.